This is a soybean field last fall after it was combined. Um, they came back in mid-November and drilled um, a rye cover crop in it. Um, and we didn't see anything last fall. And uh, this spring everything's come up really good even with the cold uh, moisture and uh, with the moisture we've had and uh, cold conditions. And then uh, he's had a really good luck turning cows out here. They've held them off till just a couple weeks ago and uh, they've been really uh, satisfied with the amount of feed they're saving and uh, being able to let their pastures grow back up. Uh, and they'll come in after, uh, here in a couple weeks, these will get moved back to the pasture. This will be sprayed off and planted corn uh, following this then. So, and hopefully, probably next fall, uh, a cover crop again. So, and this producer's had a lot better luck uh, drilling it than aerial. They've tried both, but uh, just a lot thicker stands. And even with the drier conditions last fall, uh, it's, they've been a lot happier with it. Um, and we've seen, I guess, throughout the county uh, with the heavy uh, cattle populations here, a lot of producers are trying the cover crops and uh, having, having pretty good success with being able to graze them in the spring and it's uh, really saved a lot of feed costs for them. Uh, most of our producers have been finding uh, if they can get a good stand and uh, get some growth going in the spring before they put uh, livestock out for grazing. Uh, about three quarters of an acre uh, will run a pair for a uh, month, month and a half in the spring uh, with very little supplemental feed.